Hey everybody, it's Luke from Galaxy Tech Review, and today I'm going to uh, review the Tesvor X500 Automatic Robot Vacuum Cleaner. You can check it out on Amazon. At the time of this review, there's a $40 coupon on this, brings it down to $159, which is an awesome price for this robot vacuum cleaner. Is it worth your money? Well, we're going to dig into it and find out, so stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the specs on the X500. Uh, this has a diameter of 330 millimeters and a height of 75 millimeters. It weighs three kilograms. The voltage is 14.4 volts, and it does have a 2500 milliamp rechargeable battery that will allow it to operate for up to 100 minutes in normal mode. And if you put it on that high suction mode, you're looking at 70 to 75 minutes. Uh, this does auto dock to recharge, uh, and it has several different modes that we'll go into later. And it's got a pretty spacious dust container at 600 milliliters. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes in the box with this. Uh, they give you several different things. They're going to give you some replacement filters. Uh, they're going to give you a remote control, although it can be controlled by Alexa and or Google Home, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit as well. They do give you uh, four brushes. It only takes two, but they do give you two extra ones, which is excellent. I like that. Uh, that they give you some extra stuff here with it. Uh, in case you need to replace it, you don't have to run out and buy replacements. Uh, it makes it very, very uh, cost efficient, at least that way. They do give you a power brick for plugging in the charging station to the wall. And here's the charging station itself. Uh, you'll set this up on a wall somewhere in your house and it will return when it's at low power or if you tell uh, your Amazon device or your Google Home to have the robot return or turn off, it will automatically return to this charging unit. You can see there's an LED for charging up at the top, and of course, you have a, a plug-in for your DC 5 volt on the side there as well. And I like how they mount it on the side because you can keep the uh, cords out of the way. They also give you a cleaning brush to clean out that dustbin, and we'll get into that in just a second. So looking at the main unit itself, it only has one button on the top to turn it on, and as soon as you hit that button, it'll automatically do a smart clean. If you hold that button for three to five seconds, uh, that's for connecting it to your Wi-Fi, uh, and the switch, of course, for turning it on is on the right-hand side. The dustbin is easily removable. You can see at the top, we do have uh, our uh, filters here on the top, easy to remove. Uh, nice that they include those, of course. With the extra ones that you have, uh, you won't have to run out and buy one uh, for at least a little while anyway. Uh, the dustbin is opened on the other side, uh, and it is a fairly large dustbin. It is at 60 milliliters. Uh, it holds a lot of debris, uh, depending on how dirty or clean your surface is. Once you get this in rotation, uh, you shouldn't have to worry about it filling up so much. And then you just push down to click it back in. On the bottom side is where you're going to find the, the uh, wheels, obviously, and of course the roller bar here. Uh, very nicely designed, uh, easy to take out if you need to take it out and replace it. Uh, hopefully that'll be something that you'll pretty much never have to replace. Now you do have some uh, QR codes on the back here, one for iOS, one for Google Play to get the app set up, and then one for the device, the larger one. Uh, it'll ask you the app itself to uh, scan it in so that you can get it set up. As far as the brushes go, they are labeled left and right or L and R. Uh, and so uh, you also have L and R on the bottom of the unit itself. So it's impossible to mix these up. Uh, you just snap them on and they're good to go. Again, you have two extra brushes as well. So now you're pretty much set up and ready to go. Setting up the app on this is a really simple. You just scan the QR code. It'll ask you to download the WeBack app. And when you do, it'll tell you that you need to add a device, which will in turn allow you to scan the QR code, the larger one on the back, to add the device. So of course, you're going to want it to allow to take pictures and record a video. Uh, super simple setup here. Again, 
here we go. We're just going to put this over the larger QR code and it's going to uh, ask you to access the device's location and I'm going to allow it. I'm not quite sure what happens when you deny it, uh, but I'm going to allow it. Now here you have your Wi-Fi name. This is what I'm connected to on my phone. Uh, this is the 2.4 gigahertz. It does not run on 5 gigahertz. You're going to want to enter your Wi-Fi password as well. And once you do that, it's going to upload this information to the device and then you'll be connected. So once you have that done, there's a final step here uh, to uh, restart your device. Mine is already off, so I'm going to check that off and then confirm that the device enters configuration mode. This is super simple. All you have to do is hold down the power button for three to five seconds to put it in configuration mode. I'll show you how to do that right now. So we'll hold that in and you'll see that the uh, LED for the Wi-Fi signal starts to blink. So we are then in configuration mode. There are voice prompts that tell you this. Uh, instead of showing you all of that, I'm just going to kind of go through this and it uh, suggests you use quick mode. There's a compatible mode. I didn't need to use it. I just hit quick mode and we're good to go. And it takes uh, a little bit to scan your Wi-Fi, find the equipment, register it on the smart cloud and initialize the device. This doesn't take too long. It takes about a minute or so and then you're good to go. Okay, so now that it's registered, you can see your battery life right there under your devices. You can long press this. You can set remark, which is renaming it from either robot or whatever you want to name it to. I just left mine as robot. Now there's scheduling. You can schedule this to automatically clean on different days if you want to. Uh, you can set it. It is unfortunately in military time. So if you're not familiar with military time, there is no way to change it in the app. Uh, it's pretty much just you're going to have to figure it out and use it. Military time's not that difficult. Uh, so it's a minor annoyance. I didn't find it to be that annoying. So if I wanted to send it for like 1.30, I could set it for 13.30. In the, and that would be 1.30 in the afternoon and then I could have it uh, do this uh, one time or at different days uh, or repeat uh, so I can select all of those and do all of those things party connections. You can set this up for Alexa control or Google home control, depending on if you have either of these. If you don't, you can use the app itself, or you can use the remote control. If you don't want to put the app on your smartphone, uh, I have uh, Amazon echo devices in my house. So I'm going to set it up on uh, Amazon's devices. Uh, some of you may have Google home, uh, super simple to set this up. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, this video is already getting very long, uh, but you can do it. And it's just a skill that you enable uh, for each of those. So of course, we're going to check out how it cleans as well. And as you can see, it does this uh, pattern where it goes in straight lines when it does the auto clean. And there are several other modes. You can do a spot clean where if you set it down where you want it to, it'll spiral around and clean just that one area. But you can see that this does straight lines, which I really like. Uh, and it also maps everything out, which I'll show you in the app as well. It had no problems cleaning my normal length carpet. Uh, some people reported that longer length carpet uh, was an issue, but this one didn't seem to be a problem at all. Okay, another area is the bathroom I wanted to show you. Uh, going over a big carpet and then going to tile, it didn't have any problems doing that either. Uh, so I don't have any problems with this uh, robot being able to transition from saying a flat surface uh, to a, a larger surface like a, uh, you know, a bath uh, mat or something like that. As you can see, it goes over it no problems and transitions right to it. Uh, doesn't really pull the mat up or anything like that and gets things uh, done. So overall, uh, not a bad deal at all. Another cool uh, feature of this is the app itself. Of course, it will map out different 
areas of your home uh, as it goes through. So it shows you what it's cleaned and what it's discovered. Uh, there's several different things that you can do with it. Uh, different modes, smart clean, which is that up and down. And then this spot clean, if you just put it in a space that you want it to clean, uh, it will search for dirt in a circular pattern. So there's several different modes as well. Now, if you need to dock this, you can just press dock or if it runs out of power, it will also go back to the dock on its own. Uh, it takes a few seconds to find the dock, uh, but then goes right to it and it will automatically uh, charge itself. Uh, again, it takes about four hours to charge and you get about 100 minutes of clean time on this. The uh, anti-stair or cliff detection works pretty well on this as well. As you can see, I've got it at the top of the stairs here, and it's going to approach the stairs and figure out, oh, I can't do that, and I'm going to turn around and uh, go another way. Uh, so it's not going to fall off the stairs with you, and it has done a good job on that as well. So that's my review of the Tesvor X500 a Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Again, you can check it out on Amazon. The link will be in the description below. This was not a promoted video. I bought this uh, with my own money for my house. I'm somebody that's lazy and doesn't like to vacuum, and this is a great addition to my home. It's got a lot of features in it that some of only the higher models have, such as uh, Amazon and Google integration. Uh, the app works very, very well. Uh, it cleans very well. Well, which is a great works on my carpets as long as you have normal length carpeting you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever with this vacuum works very well transitioning from uh, you know tile to carpeting as you saw in the video and yes I'm overall very happy with this and get definitely giving it a thumbs up if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below Remember to like, and if you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.